Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Friday, February the 17th. Nothing much has changed since the last time we talked, so let's take a quick look at the SPY. And put a daily chart. And with my channels, you can see that the channel was broken uh, last time. But now we are in small downtrend and what I can expect is that soon enough uh, this lower channel will be broken or tested at least. So we are looking for a possible breakdown and that would mean it would have to go below. I think it's a pretty safe bet that the stochastics will be breaking broken down and the TTM also will go to the downside but it might hold here at uh, the lower trend line uh, channel line and and then go higher if it breaks before it hits the bottom here if it breaks below uh, then this uptrend channel uh, will have been broken and we're we would be back to a longer term bear market. Let's look at the weekly chart. And that's this channel here will have to be restarted uh, with this point being the new lower high, essentially. We're talking about lower high, lower high, lower high, then a higher high, but this will become lower, it's, it's already lower than this previous point, so it, become, it becomes <clears throat> a, a more significant high here, and then the channel trend changes, and we will be back to a bear market. Interestingly, if you take a look at this weekly chart, how the Ichimoku cloud is still up there, very bearish, very red, which would mean that the bear market could restart again in, in a strong manner, I would think. So um, this doesn't bode well for uh, the bulls and we are basically bulls when we buy the market. Uh, of course, that doesn't matter because uh, we are long-term investors. So all this period of malaise, so to speak, is preparing us for a bigger uh, rally uh, that will give us all of our money back and then some and we can't really tell whether that's going to happen or not I would suspect that we are going to go test this bottom here rally once more and then we'll see what happens this is all very interesting discussion but my plan uh, with this strategy is always to um, continue to invest in the stock market for the long term. All these ups and downs, which I'm sure I'm going to be uh, wrong very often, I can just see, visualize the market, interpret what I see. Uh, I have all these indicators that I have gotten used to seeing, but in the end, um, the market is going to do what the market is going to do. And it's, we don't uh, presume to know the future, so you have to take whatever I say with a big grain of salt. And this is just for general interest. For the long term, though, we believe that the market will go higher eventually, sooner or later. Okay, so that's the purpose of this strategy, this technique, and I continue to enter my trades every week in order to keep it consistent okay so right now we're going to enter now more capital to our account how do i do that i simply come back here to the uh, activity in positions right click and then say adjust cash and that's for paper trading accounts obviously if you are trading this or using this strategy in a real account you would simply deposit 500 dollars every week and then add one share of SPY to our account. So let's go to the Analyze tab, take a quick look, 
and you can see that I have 89 shares and the average price has $421 and we are getting closer and closer to that uh, point so let's just buy click on here on the add simulated trades and just click on the ask and that will give you 100 shares which we can't afford we just can afford one okay we're not that rich we're just putting $500 every month okay let's confirm and send and this will reduce our average price just a tiny bit because I have so many now I have 90 shares when we get to 100 which will be 10 weeks from now we could begin to sell cover calls if that's what you want to do um, I don't really want to do that I want to continue to be bullish on it uh, and selling calls is equivalent to putting the money in a savings account you collect a little bit every uh, month that's all Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining me and see you next time. Bye-bye.